I'm Louis Iwasaki Meadows, this is Louis Stays, and today we are at one of the most cozy tree houses I've ever seen. This is Elm Tree House. <laughs> So today we're just outside of Canterbury in Kent, in Ellum. And as I was pulling up to this place, I saw a huge house. I wasn't quite sure where the tree house was, but the Mark, your host, kindly walks you down a garden path, past the lovely summer house, a pagoda, and then you walk into this corner next to the river, next to the lake, and you see this tree house just reveals itself out of what seems like the woodland tucked away is a tree house. You walk up the stairs, you're not quite sure what to expect. You can see it from the outside, but when you actually get in here, it is super, super special. And there's so many reasons why. I mean, it starts with the fact that as you move up the stairs into the tree house, the first thing you see is the beautiful bed. Double bed, really comfortable, really soft. I think as you move in, one of the other things you see is the windows. There are three windows here, three big windows. And what's amazing about this place is that the sun rises on the east side out of the window behind me and then moves its way across to the big window in the middle of the day and the afternoon. And then as the sun sets, you see it setting just behind the bed on the west side and it is just stunning looking out of these windows, looking into the fields behind you. And it's so quaint, peaceful. You can open them all up and you can just really sit and enjoy all the sounds of nature which surround you here in this beautiful tree house. There are trees actually growing in this place. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, there's huge tree trunks. I mean, God knows how old these oak trees are, but he's left some of the leaves in the trees. He hasn't taken everything out. They're not perfectly trimmed or shaven or anything like that. He's left it as nature intended and it adds to the experience so much. Feels like you're, you're really nested, nestled into the treehouse itself. The style in this is kind of antique and you can see all the panels, all the wooden panels here on the side. It's not a new modern wooden panel. It's a wooden panel that has some coloring to it, has some discoloration to it, has some whites, has some different shades of brown in it. The whole point here is that you're meant to be in this tree house and it's not meant to be perfect. Simple, rustic, tree house living. In terms of what you have to do when you're here, I love the little cabinets in here that you can just open up and discover new things about what he's put in here, the small touches that make this place so special. From the binoculars, just bird watching and animal watching, you've got card games in a small cabinet there, dominoes up there. If you haven't brought your books with you, you're in a bit of a rush and you forgot your books, well, Mark's got the answers because he's got some books up there for you. He's even got a Scrabble game. that You can just sit and enjoy when you're here relaxing. And it's, it's almost impossible not to relax when you're here. Behind me, there's a small table, a wine bucket, really nice touch. You have an outdoor area downstairs. And of course, of course, don't forget the barbecue outside. So you can fry up some sausages, some bacon, some bacon, some burgers in the evening and just relax, enjoy yourself. He's got some wood down there for you. So you can have a barbecue down there and there's no one around. You feel like you're in a little bubble here, which is really, really nice. You have some sofas here, some really nice array of seating areas that you can sit down, relax, read a book, listen to some music. This is the place that you can just kick back, forget about everything, switch off your phone and switch on your ears to the bird song around you. The fact that it's all self-catered. You've got your cooker here, your kettle. You've got a chopping board that they provide. You even have some heating down here and the toilet's also downstairs as well. But at night, this place comes alive because you have these fairy lights which are attached to the bottom of these wooden window cells. It's like a paradise at night because it's soft lighting, it's not too much, and with a couple of lamps on, you're just in such a peaceful environment. 
This place isn't supposed to be full of different gadgets and gizmos in here. This is meant to be simple living. You have everything you need and more to make yourself comfortable. You just can't believe that in such close proximity to London, a city, a big city, the hustle and bustle, you can come here and just relax and enjoy what is a magical, magical treehouse. We've got so much more coming up. Please like, comment, subscribe, anything you like, anything you wanna see. We wanna help you guys find the perfect places for you on Louis Stays and we'll see you in the next video. All right, so nine o'clock in the morning, I've woken up and I've been delivered some beautiful fresh bread, which is nestled in this present right here. We've got some marmalade, got some fresh local butter here. It's a whole loaf, first of all, not a slice, not two, not three, a whole loaf of bread. Ooh. <sighs> Mmm, and you hear that crunch on the outside. Oh, that is delicious, actually. That is <laughs> very well covered. Some would say too much. I wouldn't. I'd say that's perfect. Mmm. That is delicious. Nice and crumbly on the outside. And then the inside is fluffy, the sweet tartness from that marmalade, and then that salty local butter. Mm. Thank you, Alan Driehaus. And on to the next.